taking stock of the world around them and the way in which it has, and continues to, irrevocably change, for fall 2023 designers and luxury fashion houses chose to face the music and provide answers to the questions of fashion's relevancy at a time when global conflict, financial crisis, and economic uncertainty are taking precedence over the humble act of shopping for next season's wardrobe. And in answering those questions the season did not disappoint, as each collection seen, from New York to Paris, had the ability to walk right off the runway and into the wardrobes of the editors, stylists, and buyers seated front row. No easy task at a time when gimmicks and virality have taken precedence over actual clothes, but fall 2023 saw a reversal of that trend and an embrace of ones, which could be easily deciphered, adapt for all areas of a consumer's lifestyle, and still manage to maintain a level of creativity that would mean a spark of joy is ignited each time a feather-fringed corset dress is worn. So, the five main trends for the next season is here. Nearly one year after Pier Paolo Pacioli kickstarted a Barbie pink fashion agenda with Valentino's Fall 2022 collection, the first runways of the Fall 2023 season are painting in a new color. They're done with thinking pink, to put it mildly. At least 12 designers at New York Fashion Week have cast their votes for red as the soon-to-be-everywhere shade of 2023. The majority of red looks arrived in shades with orangey undertones, but some have leaned Taylor Swift maroon in deeper hues. But regardless of the specific color, what these pieces have in common is that they all look like the best red lipstick feels. They're still saturated and bright enough to stop traffic, but they convey power and a sense of elegance, and maybe a little bit of maturity. As Fashion Month keeps chugging along, that vivacious red keeps appearing on the runway. So far at New York Fashion Week, the shade has manifested in nearly every category of clothing, except for swimwear, and more often than not showed up in head-to-toe monochrome. Some of the most notable looks, like fluid trousers and sharp-shouldered blazer dresses shown at Theory, Jason Wu, Alice Plus Olivia, and Alejandra Alonso Rojas took the sophisticated structured suit sets, revived by street style and injected them with fresher fresh palette. As we embrace this minimalist cycle, the color red really gives classic, tailored pieces an element of excitement and breathes new life into basics, Galante Frank agreed. Another endorsement for the shade came in the form of a coincidental, albeit off the runway, style moment smack in the middle of New York Fashion Week. Rihanna was drenched in fiery red for last night's Super Bowl halftime performance, in a flight suit with an armored breastplate by Loewe, two glove accentuated puffer jackets by Alaya, and chunky lug sole sneakers from MM6 Maison Margiela. Could other major celebrity-style moments be painted red in the upcoming months? I say yes, but for awards show step and repeats instead of stadium performances. Proenza Scuola draped one of its models in a stately strapless column gown, made of deep red leather. Puppets and puppets sent two crimson sequin dresses down its runway, one with short sleeves and a bubble hem, the other a sort of harlequin revenge dress with a deep V neckline that plunged to the model's navel and an angular skirt. Sandy Leanne unveiled her first ever gown in her show's finale, a long-sleeve red dress with a charming rosette detail in the center of the bodice and a flowing train. They all commanded editors to whip out their phones for runway videos, and they all possessed a grown-up glamour that would be very welcome at, say, the Critics' Choice Awards, or even the Oscars. Positively sexy, with untapped energy that exudes a sultry, powerful, and joyous appeal, this lingerie-inspired theme has been on the present for several seasons. However, 
For fall 2023, there is a sexy overture that breaks free from gender stereotypes and body type constraints, and new jubilant and uninhibited kinds of sexiness arise. Body disclosure is now expected, but it is how we handle the unique sexiness of bodies on display. Instead of being aggressive and provocative, the silhouette has become refined, embracing small details, sensual materials, and refined detailing. This narrative radiates exquisite, sensual, and seductive sex appeal. From lingerie ideas to take to the boardroom or on to evening, there is a newfound strength in this seductive feminine approach. There are two sides to this story, one of an audacious subversive appeal more daring than the seasons of 2022, one where the thought of locking up your daughters might be a good idea. La, Quan Smith and Dion Lee were amongst those who displayed variations of this spirited trend. And in London, David Comer explored hedonistic androgyny to its fullest in pieces that sculpted and curled around the body. And the alternative is a sophisticated boudoir story where the silhouettes are sexy through delicate transparency. Although sex remains a hot commodity, beautifully designed clothes that appeal to the most modern and understated women are high on the agenda. And so we see the evening cocktail dress as much in demand as the thigh-split bodycon dresses. Nancy Dojaka refined her offering with seam-detailed liquid chiffon pieces and, to coin a phrase, be still my beating heart, outlining every feminine curve possible. Dolce and Gabbana left little to the imagination, but it was accomplished with panache, the corseted pieces a stroke of finite craftsmanship. In her inimitable way, Tori Birch touched on the corsetry shapes, rendering silhouettes sophisticated yet alluring. And at Jason Wu, the Midas touch came in stunning sparkling transparent columnar gowns that just skimmed the body with a come-hither appeal in sublime textural satins and transparent lace. And lace is the texture seen everywhere, from teeny little bras to gorgeous combinations of sheer silk chiffon. Asymmetry, a key detail for the season, offered up daring cuts or folds knotted and twisted to reveal as much female anatomy as possible. Atlin served a delicious cocktail of these body-skimming dresses that wrapped and draped around the female form. And if this was not enough, those thigh-high boots or toe-pinching pointed shoes will be sufficient to cinch the deal. But for those who are just a little shy, grab one of those broad-shouldered blazers, it will be the perfect cover-up for that clandestine evening. the new season means serious business. For those who have accomplished the art of tailoring, the sartorial spectrum has no end for fall winter 2023, seen in either slim or extremely broad-shouldered shapes. The latter ran through all four cities with such stealth it was not easy to miss, with brands delivering the next-gen investment pieces in presentations that disrupted traditional expectations. Grown-up tailoring, that strictly meant business, 
came with fabulous oversized shoulder cuts reminiscent of 1980s style power dressing. Blazers with exaggerated structured shoulders were presented with simple cut single breasted iterations. The juxtaposition between masculine and feminine came showcased in blazers and jackets nipped in at the waist, accomplished using clever pleating and buttoning. The jacket at Givenchy, bordered on a Prêt couture appeal but take a look out of context, and it is the perfect item to be worn with, or without a bottom piece. At Saint Laurent, nothing was abbreviated as Vocarella took shape and volume to the extremes. Yet, the silhouettes came elegantly balanced with the season's pencil skirts and leggings, softened by chiffon bow blouses, while the shape presented one of inverted pyramid dynamism. It was a masterclass in bespoke tailoring, making everything work within the framework of garments as glamorous as they were business functional. Outerwear and topcoats are reviving, meaning three-piece dressing is the new phenomenon. No outfit is complete without a topcoat, Ferragamo is a perfect example of simplicity, allowing the cut to do the work. But consider this, every collection showcases a fabulous outerwear piece, whether cut in luxe leather, fluffy faux fur or soft wool, these are true investments for the future. Balenciaga presented a perfect study in extreme sartorial dressing with contemporary deconstructed disciplines. At the same time, the feminine approach came welcome at Victoria Beckham, with a cutting edge softened by a feminine silhouette. Several designers, such as J.W. Anderson at Loewe, took to stripping back a silhouette, emphasizing the comforting reassurance of a simple shape. At the same time, at Simkai, Jonathan's approach was more provocative, with skin-bearing cuts, a key detail for the season. Jason Wu's oversized outerwear offset the sheer feminine clothes underneath, demonstrating a renewed focus on elegant yet functional, everyday wardrobes, a strategy that resonates and makes good business sense. The details also added a unique perspective with intricate clasps and Givenchy, suiting with skirts spliced or pleated, adding movement against the strictness of the outerwear. There's beauty in these wearable ensembles just by the styling and play of proportions. Think Prada's skinny trousers and blazers with entirely unbuttoned blouses, or just nothing underneath save for a bralette. Stella McCartney continued with a collection of wearable silhouettes, the shoulders extended in jackets to draw focus on the slim waist. Her masterclass in Savile Row tailoring came to the fore, it is quite a feat to carry off a broad shoulder that does not collapse. It's all in the placement of the sleeve, did you know? Black and white have always been classic colors in the world of fashion, but they're now experiencing a resurgence in popularity. The spring 2023 runways were awash with a monochrome palette, as designers such as Chanel, Dior, and Miu Miu showcased their take on the trend. Chanel took a minimalist approach with clean lines and understated pieces, proving that less is often more. Dior on the other hand, 
embraced maximalism with bold patterns and voluminous silhouettes. Meanwhile, Miu Miu opted for a retro-inspired look, featuring classic cuts and vintage-inspired prints. The black and white trend offers endless possibilities for creative expression, from sleek and modern to nostalgic and whimsical. It's a versatile and timeless trend that can be dressed up or down, making it a great addition to any wardrobe. Whether it's a monochrome suit or a simple black and white striped shirt, this trend is sure to make a statement. One of the most significant changes in fashion has been occasion wear, and Fall 23 delivered on point. Stay-at-home consumers, who have been quick to embrace the opportunity to dress up, will appreciate the meteoric rise in versatile and feminine dressing. These two prerequisites run concurrently and are becoming more familiar with the blurring of day wear and evening wear realities, set to inspire on a whole new level. With the onset of the overarching trend of going back to dressing up, designers harked back to several houses' original codes. There is a strength in the outcome with some serious clothes to get very serious about. Oliver Roosting at Balmain dug into the archives with its new French style, zeroing in on the founder's pinch waist Julie Madame silhouette from 1953 and Dior-esque full-circle skirts, which have appeared in several collections. Amelia Wickstead, Simone Rocha, and Erdem tapped into this feminine revival. The return of the feminine continues with a high femme sensuality and a casualized romanticism, with brands balancing out delicate design details, with unexpected colors and a clash of textures and print. Ulla Johnson, typically known for her eclecticism, combined these aesthetics in a ruffled-off shoulder top with a tulip skirt. While a more traditional take on femininity was also key at Caroline Herrera, the look nodded to retro silhouettes in vibrant color floral prints, and luxe materials that were used to emphasize the feminine waist. The pull towards long-lasting and sophisticated designs gained traction in slimline silhouettes, the Columna dress iterations appeared in varying materials and prints, making it an everlasting item for a keepsake wardrobe. In fact, this simple sheath ran through most collections, including some beautiful pieces cut in textural shorefses at Prada, Jason Wu, Fendi, Trove, and Simkai. The playback to florals and luxe materials such as crinkle, Brocades and handwoven textured surfaces is part of the elegant and glamorous revival. Christopher Kane, Erdem, and Simone Rocha created collections aimed at the woman who appreciates the elegant, chic, discreet, and mysterious.
the triple-layered peplum at Christopher Kane was a pure study in modern elegance. And the surface embroideries, more than ever, showed up in stunning pieces at Prada, in the white bridal gown and skirts. At Jill Sander, the Myers closed the collection with delicate sparkling flowers on a full-volume dress, sparkling textures key to many of the looks across collections. Bustier dresses underpinned the lineup, with the era's razor pleated and full-volume skirts, the shape further emphasized in crinkled surface effects incorporating stainless steel thread. No look is complete without long elbow gloves, the top handle bag, a tailored belt, and a pair of ladylike pointed toes. The 50s are an excellent place to conclude, a time when dressing was essential, and women were breaking away from the austerity of wartimes. And in many ways, designers feel the same empathy, turning to what they know best, creating innovative and beautiful clothing that will remain relevant and seductive for some time. Thanks for your watching. Your Valerie.